Hey everyone, welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. I'm Marianne Mitchell. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the range of one's artistic voice. So many of you who are working with me in mentorships as well as discussions in Wham Wednesday and even in the chat feed down below and the YouTube videos, uh, people are searching for what their voice is and what the range is and what's the cohesion the thread between all of the different kinds of work that people make so i'm going to discuss with you today the range of my voice with two different paintings and how they both come out of my quest to create the essence of either inner place outer place and how they come together so that when you're looking at the painting there's a sense of familiarity and yet it's an unrecognizable thing and so i'm going to show you two pieces that illuminate that if you've been watching the last few whole artist mastery videos you've been seeing the development of this painting so i wanted to start with this because some of you have said i'd love to see the final painting and so here it is and the title of this is nestling beyond and for me it really captures the theme of darks and lights working together to create a whole um, the soft veiled quality and then the dark going in and um, feeling like you're going beyond and having this combination of an inner feeling that's deep with inside yourself as well as looking into the sky, looking into the cosmos. So for me, it's really a marriage between the macro and the micro, you know, the micro of my inner self and the macro of the cosmos and how they are really the same and come together. Um, that's how I feel about this piece. And I titled it Nestling Beyond for that very reason, because nestling has this quality of nesting, you know, feeling like you are safe in a place and going beyond is um, relating to that macro sense of cosmos. So putting those two together in the title was really important to me. I'm going to walk you through how the development of this painting occurred so that you can see where it was and how it ended up where it is today. This is the early stages of the painting Nestling Beyond. And at this point, I'm feeling absolutely 0% connection to what's happening and have started already with the whitish gray to go back into what I call Reckless Abandon Part 2, which is covering up the colors that were there and the shape. This was pretty much the only shape that was there. And from there, this is what happened. I covered the entire thing over. Some of you may remember this from previous videos. And from here, I felt like, okay, I have very little to go on uh, and just kept on going. And this shape, the white shape appeared because I was feeling again, this need for high contrast between dark and light and the in-between color and value to express the sense of wholeness and went on to bring some more color in. This is a, a deep red that's bringing some warmth to the composition and this beautiful kind of periwinkle purple. But after looking at this for a couple of days, I again continued to feel a lack of connection to what was going on and a sense of predictability uh, and what does that mean i'm really unable to explain that except that i just felt uninterested by what was happening so i went on and this occurred and i started to become interested i found this intriguing 
And again, I'm unable to explain why, but what I want this to illustrate to you is when you, for whatever reason, have a connection to what shows up and how that leads you on into the piece. So this is where it led me next. And I brought in this fiery orangey red element to balance the cool of the grays and whites and blacks. And then from there, this is what happened. And I think it came out of just a, a day out of furious, reckless abandon and wanting to bring this over to the edge as opposed to having it be in the center. I also felt like this was too singular a shape. So from here, I was playing around with the bottom and the top, the warms and cools, uh, what this line was going to be, and ultimately it landed here. And so this is the final painting, Nestling Beyond. This painting is a whole different discussion about um, bringing opposing elements together to create a whole. The structure is much more evident. It's an architectural structure as opposed to a fluid structure. And that's just the way this painting developed. Um, and you'll see as I go through the history of this painting, how, where it came from. Um, this painting I consider at this point, maybe 80% finished. And in a subsequent video, you will see me going back in and working on the areas that I feel need to be brought out a little bit more. I'd like to create a little bit more uh, of a orangey red glow over here. And I'd like to um, bring a little more color into this area. The idea behind this now is to have the majority of the composition be this beautiful luminous veiled curtain or wall that you can see into but it's ghosted and then as it comes around to the main source of light where the light starts to infiltrate this um, veil and then this portal of darkness that has light in it so that it's an inviting place for you to go as opposed to a scary place for you to go and then the green down here is meant to signify uh, the groundingness or the earth or the the um, the concrete the concreteness of life i'm sure you all got that right <laughs> as you look at this painting but again this is a very different presentation of working with the same theme of wanting to create the essence of place and having something be familiar as you're looking at it without it being totally recognizable. The second painting I spoke about, which has yet to be finished, began this way. And so you can see the texture developing already in the first pass of paint. And from there, uh, this horizon line developed which I really enjoyed the colors and the sense of this painting, but felt <clears throat> a little uninterested by the horizon line yet again developing. And yet I couldn't get away from it. So while I was enjoying the development of the paint quality, the veiledness, I felt that it was a little too landscapey, so I started covering over and then it ended up like this so that I could break the horizon line and brought in this one singular color. I began to have some sort of connection at this point and feeling like a sense of place was developing that was familiar and yet unrecognizable. From there, 
I turned it upside down and made this shape. And again, I'm unable to explain why it just showed up. And so that happens all the time, you know, things just show up and then you work with them going forward. So I turned it the other way and brought in some bright uh, aqua and green to um, bring some color to the, the neutral tones. And then I realized that this shape, I, I was going back to, I want this porthole to be a place where you can go and hide, where you can go behind the veils. And so in doing that, I created this line and brought in, changed the aqua to an orangey red to bring some warmth to the painting and continued to develop this edge and this edge, this side of the edge and this side of the edge until I realized that I felt that this was too separate. It was too um, much of a concrete, uh, there wasn't much movement in this area. So I decided what would happen if I covered over the whole thing again and ultimately landed here where I felt that it was much more interesting to have this come over to the edge on the top and have this be um, gra the, the one grounding force. And so this is where it is now and um, I'm looking forward to showing you where I go next with the painting. I hope this was helpful in illustrating the range of artistic expression and how our voice can hold various different styles and be consistent at the same time with themes and sources of inspiration and how the development of a painting, the journey uh, that you go on in developing a painting takes many different um, angles until it begins to really hook into you and you bring it to a place of resolution. If this is something that you struggle with, I invite you to go to the Whole Artist Mastery website and take a look at the online workshops, which are designed specifically to help you with composition, color, and also to move into the realm of abstraction with the medium of oil pastel. And I also invite you to schedule a complimentary conversation. If a mentorship, if having one-on-one -on -one individual guidance so that you can really delve into the core of what your personal expression is, really gain an understanding of who you are and how that informs everything that you do in your work. Um, it's such a great way to get you where you really want to go. And I invite you as always to become part of the whole Artist Mastery community. We are artists who are in search of our authentic voice, who really value being authentic in our world and how that manifests itself in the way we go about making our paintings. And then how those two things in terms of our voice and how that manifests itself helps us understand how we show up as artists in the world, how we show up as whole human beings, because showing up as a whole human being is something that our very fractured world is in great need of today. So thanks very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time.